Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about Matt Dutchine scored at 1454 of the second overtime and the Nashville Predators beat the Carolina Hurricanes 5-4 on. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Nashville, Tennessee. App, Matt Dutchine made his first playoff game in Nashville with the Predators a moment to remember. He scored his first goal of the series at 14.54 of the second overtime and the Predators beat the Carolina Hurricanes 5-4 to cut their series deficit to 2-1. It was just amazing to play here at home, Dutchine said. I was really disappointed last year when we went to the bubble and we didn't have games here, so best fans in the NHL. It's just incredible to play here, and yeah we needed that. It feels good. Now the Predators, 0-5 after trailing 2-0 in a best-of-seven series, will try to tie it Sunday in Game 4. It was another step in the right direction, Predators forward Philip Forsberg said. Dutchine scored his first goal of the series in the longest game yet of this postseason and the third longest in Predators history. Roman Josie flipped the puck to Dutchine, who skated up the slot and flipped the puck over Alex Nedeljkovic for the victory. Nashville is 4-3 in games going two or more overtimes. Ryan Ellis had a goal and two assists, and Ryan Johansson, Philip Forsberg and Mikhail Granlund also scored for Nashville. Juice Seiros had his first career assist and tied the franchise record with 52 saves for only his second postseason victory. Sebastian Ajo had a goal and two assists for Carolina, and Jordan Stahl, Vincent Trocek and Brett Pess also scored. Carolina coach Rod Brindamore made clear he wasn't happy his Hurricanes were called for seven penalties for a second straight game. It could have been eight, but officials didn't call them for delay of game when the puck went over the glass in the first overtime. Nashville finished with three penalties. We're also fighting refs, that's plain and simple, Brindamore said. He also didn't like the hooking penalty on Max Ledgewar in the second overtime at 11.40, saying it flipped the momentum. Nashville's Ely Tolvanen hit the post 38 seconds into that power play. They scored the next shift after because we were out of rotation, Brindamore said. That's not how it should go. I didn't tell them that, but I'm proud of my group because they just battled. Asked about Brindamore's comments, Nashville coach John Hines said, I'm just focused on our team. Johansson put Nashville up 4-3 at 5.01 of the third, redirecting a shot by Ellis. But Pess tied it with 3.21 left in regulation with a snapshot near the high slot. Nashville had its biggest crowd in well over a year with capacity expanded to 12, 135 for the playoffs, a move quickly followed by Carolina easing its restrictions for Game 1.